Right, John, good win today. What are your thoughts on the game? Um, really pleased. Um, that was up there with the best performances of the season for me. Um, you know, we played a, a really experienced side in Peterborough. They had players who've, with hundreds of games under their belt in the Football League. Um, I think the, the majority of them have played for the first team already. Um, so for the young players to step up like they did, they were the, a real credit to the football club today. I was really proud of them. Um, and to have Jack Burrows bounce down with us to get some minutes today, it was the ice on the cape really to have the, the one of the academy poster boys, if you like, to be part of that performance. And he led by example, not only today in the game, but the way he trained in the build-up to the game with the preparation. Uh, he's a shining example. So no, it was a really good day at the office. Not that they needed it, but when you see the team line up, do the players get an extra bit of boost for it? So, you know, here we go, get some first team players that some of them probably haven't played against before. You hope so. Yeah. Um, it's something we emphasised before the game so the players were aware of the calibre of player that they were playing against. So you hope they react in the right way and they step up to the challenge. Um, sometimes young players can go the other way, but the characters we've got in the squad now um, are very game, are very resilient, are competitive, uh, even though some of them are still under 17s and um, they're really competitive and, and, and they showed that today. But I think across the board today, every player, the ones that came off the bench, were excellent from start to finish. And you mentioned those young players. I spoke to Gary earlier in the week and he said, hey, some of the 18s are now permanently with you. How well are they settling in and how well did they do again today? They did great today and they, they bring a real energy to the environment, which is what you want on a day-to-day -day basis. You've got to drag them in off the training ground. So um, they've added to the environment um, and been really good. Of course, that means that the younger players in the younger age groups have to step up to the 18s and um, they'll find that challenging at times. But when the players are being stressed and they're finding it hard, they're developing. And essentially that's our jobs and that's what we want to happen. And there was some strike power up front for Peterborough today, but Dan Rachel gets his clean sheet. He made some good saves. He did. You know, Dan's played two games at the CBS on the bounce now and got two clean sheets, so he's very happy with that. They had a lot of, um, like you say, they had a, a, a dangerous, a potent strike force today. They've got, you know, the number nine scored back full, back full of goals for Chesterfield. That's why he's got his move to Peterborough. And, the young players dealt with him today. Um, you know, he caused us problems at times, which we expect, but over the 90 plus minutes, they managed to handle him. And Justin Abiku and Marco Roos take their goals really well, don't they? They did. It's something um, we've emphasised with both players. They, they both want to add more goals to their games. Um, Justin's been out on loan to North Lee and uh, getting different experiences there. Marco had a real positive loan at Hereford. Um, and there's been a lot of interest in Marco to go back out. So for them both to get on the score sheet today was great to see and fully deserved.